and welcome to Straight Out of Sixth Grade News. I'm Cameron with a K. And I'm Cameron with a C. We have many great segments in store for you, including sports, current events, and many more. We will be coming to you every three weeks. Those other two weeks, our classmates from period three and five will be produce, producing our new shows. The first person you will be seeing is Paige Jumps with information about our new book blog, Straight Out of Books. Stay tuned and we will see you soon. And off to Paige. Oh, thank you, Cameron. Hi, this is Paige Dubs on Straight Out of Sixth Grade News. I have some important information to tell you about the reading blog in Mrs. Regal's class. The Reader's Blog is a blog that kids in Mrs. Regal's class can talk about books. You can find it at this website. The sixth graders in this class are the ones who write all the blog entries. On it, they'll write, the, they'll write something about their book. They might write about their favorite part or maybe a summary of a chapter. They might compare the movie to the book. Who knows? It's really up to the student to decide. Next up, current events with Emma Day. Thank you. As many of you know, the Rio 2016 Olympics are finished. UA won with holding 121 medals. China with 70 medals got second place, and Great Britain won third place with 67 medals. U.S. in the end had 46 gold, 37 silver, and 38 bronze. With so many different sports and different athletes, it was competition until the end. With 40 different sports and great athletes, we were able to win. With many medals in sports such as swimming, diving, track, gymnastics, beach volleyball, and other sports, U.S. won by 51 medals. With the top medalists of Michael Phelps, Katie Ledecky, Ryan Murphy, Simone Manuel, and Maya Dorado, they got lots of medals in swimming. With the final five gymnastics, Simone Biles, Madison Koshin, Gabby Douglas, Ali Raisman, and Lori Hernandez won the team gold. Raisman and Biles won all around gold and silver, and as well as that, Biles won on the gold vault and floor, and got bronze on the beam, Raisman won silver on the floor, Hernandez won silver on the beam, and Koshin won silver on the bars. Not only was gymnastics and swimming successful, but so was track. With the gold in the women's 4x100 meter relay and other events, they were on the podium many times as well. With many other sports were successful, as well as, as, well as diving, was also successful. David Bodaya, an Olympic gold medalist, secured his 2012 medal by getting a bronze medal. By Saturday, August 20th, USA was in the lead with 103 medals, 93 gold, 53 silver, and 33 bronze medals. If you don't think that's good, we also set many world records, and Olympic records are as well. That's all for today. Let's hand it over to Ella with the YMS Sports. Thanks, Emma. Today we are talking about the YMS Yorktown Middle School football team. After a break during the summer, they resumed practice, with the old 8th graders gone and the 7th graders stepping up to play. They had a lot in store, some good and some bad. August 1st was their first practice. After playing for 16 days straight, they had their first game. The game was against Newcastle Middle School, and unfortunately, they lost. That's not a good way to start out the season, some people may say. The coaches for this year's football seasons are Jess Neal, the 8th grade head coach, Mark Hill, the 8th grade assistant coach, Blake Bernard, the 7th grade head coach, and Brandon Bernard, the 7th grade assistant coach. If you want to watch the YMS games, go to http slash slash Yorktown Athletics dot com slash ms underscore football to figure out their schedule or who they are playing against or it is up here on the screen. During their first game, Caleb Stevenson broke his tibia and fibia and within minutes, Drew Barb during Metro football practice broke his tibia and fibia as well. Other than those injuries during the game and a practice before the game, Davis Clark broke his two wrist bones. With injuries in all three grades, it is very unfortunate. That's all for today. Now here is off to Ashton with the teacher spotlight. We're interviewing our very own gym teacher, Mr. Miller. He is a very fuce interviewer. Let's jump right in and see what to say. Our first question we had for him was, how long have you been teaching at your time at school? His answer was 14 years. Our second question we had for him was, what was his favorite game he played with the students? He said he liked the net games, such as badminton and table tennis. Our, in our third question, we asked him, did he enjoy his job? His answer was yes. Our first question for him was, did he play any of the games with his students? His answer was sometimes, but not all the time. Our last question we, we asked him was, is he ready for the new school year? His answer was yes. 
Okay, everyone, that about wraps up Teacher Spotlight. And now to question survey with Emma. Hi, I'm Emmy Hembree, and today I'll be interviewing a few people. We're back. What's your favorite social media site or app and why? Uh, Twitter, because it's the only one I use. Great! And the question is, what's your favorite social media site or app and why? My favorite social media site is Instagram because I get to post pictures and talk with my friends. What about you? Mine would have to be Musical.ly because you can make creative videos and share them with your friends. Alright, and the next question is, what's your least favorite? My least favorite social media site is Twitter because I don't know how to get into my Twitter because I forget my password. <laughs> what about you? My least favorite would have to be Facebook because it's for old people. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Cameron. Uh, yeah. And the questions are today. What are your least favorite and least favorite wow. social media app or swipe? People and why? are making my least favorite is Facebook because I don't know how to use it really confusing. What's your favorite? My favorite would have to be Instagram because it is very easy to use and I get to talk to my friends on it. Great, thank you. Day. And the question is, what's your least favorite and favorite game? My least favorite game is Candy Crush. And um, my favorite game is called a game called Tap Titans. Why is Candy Crush your least favorite game? Well, I don't really know. I mean, all you do is swipe and connect. All right, exactly. thank you. And the question is, what's your favorite social media site or app and why? I am only involved with one social media app, and that would be Facebook. And I just enjoy keeping in touch with old friends. Thank you. Thank you for watching. See you next week.